Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another card review. So in this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming Ultimate Stage card, right, which is Bellflower. Yeah, so this name is to be confirmed because the only um, name out is only in Chinese now. Right, so anyways, this card here is going to be available for us in terms of Ultimate Stage right, on the 25th of May. So it's been a while since Madhead released a card that, I can, that can actually change attribute. Right, so this card here, Bellflower, can actually change attribute based on um, a certain triggering condition. So the condition is your leader have to be either a human race or a god race. Right, so they didn't mention it to be leader and ally. Right, a leader and ally have to be the same. Right, so as long as your leader is a human race or a god race, this card here will change according to your leader's attribute, I suppose. Right, so if you're playing like ESU for example, right, so this card here will be converted into um, light attribute. Right, so I'm not suggesting you guys to put this card in, <laughs> into an ESU team, right, because this card here, if you guys notice already, is a dark god, uh, dark god race. Right, so let's move on to her active skill. Alright, so what we have here is her active skill. So she'll be at CD6, which is a very fast charging active skill. Alright, so let's take a look at her effect. So hard runes possess 50% effect of runes of self-attribute. Right, self-attribute meaning that whatever attribute she has been converted to because she can change her attribute. So when the skill is activated for every one hard rune on the board, the skill effect stays in play for an additional one round, right? To the max of four rounds for three hard runes that is present on the board. So three hard runes is actually pretty common, right? You definitely have at least, you know, maybe two or three hard runes on the board based on your RNG, right? But it's a pretty easy condition to hit, right? For that maximum four rounds. So four rounds meaning that. After the skill wear off, you just have to store at another 2 rounds and then she'll be back up and ready to use because CD6, right? So, this card here is going to be very very situational, I feel. Right? At this point of time, I think that not a lot of teams are going to be utilizing the most out of this card. Right? So, uh, the trailer, the TOS trailer actually shows us an Izanagi setup, meaning that uh, this effect here can actually stack with the, any sort of leader effect out there. Right, for example, let's take a look at Izanagi, which is what uh, the TOS trailer has shown us. Right, so Izanagi, if you guys don't remember, hard runes possess the effect of earth runes. Right, we're talking about um, leader ally, do, uh, leader ally Izanagi right here. Right, so if you activate this in an Izanagi team, so this would add on to Izanagi's effect. Right, so this means that hard runes possess hundred and fifty percent effect of earth runes. Right, so it actually stacks on top of whatever um, leader skill that you already have. Right, so if the leader skill does not, or any effect does not, hard runes does not have any effect of uh, offensive effect. So basically you're just going to get that 50% effect, which is not very useful in my opinion. Right, so example teams will be pretty much like Izanagi or Su Huan Zhen. Right, Su Huan Zhen, as you guys know, uh, hard runes is actually water rune effect as well. So I'm just stating a few possible team setups that you can go with this card right here. Right, other than that, I think that this card here is going to be pretty uh, a good potential to be slot into future cards that have um, hard runes as an offensive um, that has an offensive effect. So as I always say, cards that can change attribute. It when you farm it, you're basically farming five cards, right? Because you can use it for one of every attribute. So for me, I'll be farming this card. So based on um, its effect, I don't think it's going to be super powerful, but it can be helpful for those players that are lacking certain dark cards or dark god cards. Right, so overall this is going to be my opinion, right, so it's going to be entirely up to you whether to farm it or not. In my opinion, I really feel that it's not that necessary to farm it, so if you're very very low on diamonds or do have some diamonds but you want to save for Hunter x Hunter collaboration, uh, then you probably will not want to farm this card right here. Right, so overall, this is going to be card review for Bellflower here. Right, so if you like this review, do give it a like and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.